Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make Keeley Sword. Day three of Hobbit Week. That's right, day three of Hobbit Week, and today it's Keeley Sword. And we use, it looks wonderful. And we use a new technique here. This is aluminum foil glued to foam board. Gives a really good steel look. You're going to like this project. Um, so we'll launch into it in a second. First, let me say thank you for watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. I mean that. Thank you for subscribing for sticking with me. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. Always lots of fun and interesting projects. All kinds of creative things. Two new videos every week. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment, leave a project suggestion. <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> now, okay, let's do the introduction, then let's do how to make, just with a few basic materials, Keeley's sword, thank you. Mm -hmm. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blocks, fifteen model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, you print up the template, and the link is in the description of this video down below, you can, where you can get that template to print up, and then cut out the three pieces A, B, and C. That's the pieces that make up the sword, and tape them together like this. Put those on foam board and trace them twice. Make two of them. <clears throat> and then go ahead and cut those pieces out. Now we're going to put a bevel on the edge all the way around the sword, just a blade section. This on, and um, the shading here is just to show you what I mean. But what you do is you cut at a 45 degree angle all the way around the edge of the sword. The blade sections, not the handle section. See that, how that is? That gives this sword a nice look. And do this on both pieces that you've cut out of foam board. And if you think this is going to be difficult for you, um, practice it on a, just a scrap piece of foam board to see how it feels and how you can do it. But it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So there we go. The whole sword section pretty much has been done. Remember, do this twice on both the pieces that you made. Now we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. So coat it with... Um, glue stick. If you use regular white glue, spread it evenly but thinly. You don't want it to get too wet or the foam board might warp. The glue stick is best for this. And then put aluminum foil on it with the shiny side down. And then, you know, spread it out nice and easy. Use your fingers to smooth it all out as much as you can. It's going to have some wrinkles in it, but that's okay. It, gives it, it makes it look pretty good. A, an antiquing kind of look. And then trim it. And do this for both of your pieces. And then glue both of your halves together. Just like that. Glue or glue stick. And use uh, little scraps of aluminum foil like this to do any repair work on the edges that you might need to do. Looks good. Now cut out piece D, put that on foam board and trace two of those and then cut those two pieces out and then glue them onto the sword right here like this where the handle is. And once you got both of those glued on, one on e each side, you can round out the handle like this, using the same technique you used on the blade. Just round out that handle and then trim it, smooth it out. Because you've got in the stack of pieces there, you might want to smooth it out by trimming it and then sand it to smooth it out even further. Looks good. Now, apply masking tape to the grip part of the handle. Just the part like where you, you would hold with your hand, that whole section there. 
like that. And this actually isn't actually masking. This is for the texture and the feel of it to give it like as if it were wrapped in leather or something. And then paint that whole handle section with the guard, the palm of the hilt, all of that new stuff painted all black. Now you can, uh, you know, paint, do all this painting any way you want, but if you want it to look like ours, our sword, this is, I'll show you the technique and the colors that we go through. So now take all the ornamental pieces and glue them to cereal box cardboard. Foam board is too thick for these ornaments. So glue them to cereal box cardboard. You know, break open a cereal box and do this. And then cut all of those pieces out like this. Now what you're cutting out actually is the black shaded sections are gone. And then we're going to put them all into the, uh, the sword like this. Piece goes there, piece goes here, and you can trim those if need be. So they fit, a piece goes here, and this piece was a little bit long, so we ended up trimming it down a little bit. But glue those down like that, this side and the other side. And then the center bow sections, kind of like bow ties, right? One there, and one on top, and then the pommel section like this. So you can just look, I won't, I don't have to. And inside the bow tie sections, do a dab, a dot of hot glue. There's um, you know, all six on this side and all six on the other side. Now put in the uh, handle section like this. And put dots in the center of those four diamonds. Like, the, not yet. Well, I'll show you putting the dots. Let's put on the um, grips. Hot glue like this, you can run it like this. It's kind of cool, this is neat. Just run a thick bead of hot glue all the way around it. But not, don't go over that ornament section in the center, we do this, yeah, isn't that nice? It's got a really good look, it comes out really nice. And once it's painted, it's terrific. There we go. I like it. Okay, here's those dots you put in the center section there. Very nice. Okay, paint the whole handle part, all of this black. And let's take a look at the blade here. Before we finish the handle, uh, let's look at the blade. Now, you can use a pencil to press in dots like this. It gives it a nice antique -ly look. And you can go crazy with this, do a lot of it in different areas of the sword blade. And, you know, it's kind of neat, but the way the foil works in the foam. And then create a fuller down the center of the blade like this. See how it goes to a, it goes to a point where the point of the sword is? But it's a little gap that's called a fuller, or some people call it the blood groove. And then use a pencil to just scribble in this kind of ornament like this. Just a random texture inside that fuller. Very nice. We like it. So now dry brush in red into these couple of sections here. I'll show you right here on the guard. You don't want it to be too bright. You want it to be subdued. So you dry brush some red in there so it just gets some of the paint. You're not like painting it, you're dry brushing it so it picks up some of the red paint. Because it's uh, recessed. And then paint the handle red. And now we're almost done. Now dry brush black onto the blade. It gives it a really nice antique look. And see how we get just scattered dots we've pressed into the aluminum foil? And that fuller, you can go over that. It picks up the black nicely. But this gives the sword a nice antique look. And that's pretty much it. Now the high sections of all the handle, paint those, carefully paint those silver like this by just lightly brushing over them. We're going to do that and this and here and on the pommel. And, and the next... 
I will show you what it looks like. So if you want to paint the same, you get a really good look at the completed part. So yeah, that's kind of nice how it looks completed. I'll show you. Right here, look. There you go. See the red and the silver? It's antique looking. Very nice. Good job. Thanks for watching. Plenty more videos and projects on our website at stormthecastle.com. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.